going to deliver the execution. There are several races on Wardenia, and we tried very hard to distinguish between them. When we were creating them, we wanted to make them completely different to each other and uh, recognizable. We know historically the main race inhabiting Wardenia, the Naboru, are basically descendants of scientists from a scientific project, so they tend to use a very precise and scientific language. Enough! We won't bend the principles that keep our world in order. These are these humanoid aliens living in this kind of medieval cities. Then you have the Redkins, which speak plain English, sort of a bit of pigeon English that uh, obviously is uh, deformed by, well, first because they are rats and their mouth isn't suited for that, and B, because they didn't get any formal education, they are simple slaves. Our brothers, they fear thee, but need leader. They are this kind of mix of uh, humans and, and rats, so they aren't too bright. And uh, when Naboru uses this kind of very clean geometric style with these uh, medieval castles and houses, the Redkins don't really know how to build something nice, so they are putting the items together from the junk and they're building some crude constructions. They are basically uh, like some, ki some kind of cavemen or a very uh, kind of rough population. A lot of them used to work as slaves in the mines, so they use a bit of a mining lingo. For example, uh, Gok calls you a nipper. A big nipper. Which is a mining word for like bus boy who runs around for the uh, experienced miners. A lot of their language is connected to fire and they give fire the quality, so they will rather say that something is hot than it's great. Uh, which is also a case of Naboru, who are, on the other hand, their religion and spirituality is very vertical, which you can see both on the buildings, even the like simple buildings in a city will have those small vertical towers on the side. And the architecture is sort of medieval, which uh, aligns well because the medieval uh, spirituality was also very vertical. So Naboru would say things like uh, that they feel lofty and uh, that you should ascend because the whole culture is about eventually ascending and getting out of this planet. May the spirit of our beloved Barrow Bufus ascend to the stars from whence we came to this world and where we all should one day return. Ascend in tots. The last race living on Vordinia are broken. Their biggest advantage is their high-tech technology or sci-fi technology, which uh, they are using for their goals. Basically, they are completely different from Naboru and Ratkins, and uh, they have these glowing weapons and constructions, and they are mostly hiding in, uh, in some cavern, which they are rebuilding to their purposes. So the broken are dark race uh, inhabiting uh, the planet. And of course, then you have uh, races that came from the outer space. You have Ilvar who tries to use normal English, but he sounds like your overly cheery British aunt because he's just trying to blend in and please everyone. I save you. I simply can't wait to repay you for your invaluable services. And he's very eloquent and tries to impress you by all his flourishes. Uh, so he's just like, sounds a bit like a French aristocrat on trip, I would say, which plays perfectly well with his uh, general body type and what he is trying to achieve, being sort of a mastermind behind things. 